Raw, uncut, and unapologetic. Welcome to Men Talking Mindfulness. According to the Harvard Harvard Business Review, half of CEOs express feelings of loneliness, and 61% of those believe loneliness hinders their job performance. Now, you, Nick, uh, you have been and continue to be an executive leading organizations. Um, You mentioned in your article on executive loneliness, when executives feel stressed or anxious about work, they usually do nothing to address it. Often for fear, people will judge them or doubt their ability to lead, that they fear being judged. How legitimate are these fears and what can leaders do about it? Well, thank you for the question, John. And indeed, uh, when I wrote my book on this topic in 2019, I also surveyed executives about the loneliness and the numbers that you mentioned are quite aligned with actually the findings I have. Uh, When I started writing the book in 2019, about 30% of the senior executives that I interviewed actually and surveyed for the book uh, Uh, expressed loneliness in the workplace and then I redid the same survey in 2020 during the pandemic and then the numbers had doubled to 60 percent and that's for an audience in Southeast Asia so we can see that indeed uh, the the numbers are quite in line with that what you have and and it is true that people are indeed feeling lonely in the workplace but they do everything to hide it so a follow-up question I ask the executives if you now are feeling you know, lonely in your workplace. Is this something that you are talking to anyone about? And 84% said that they would not talk to anybody about it in the workplace. So that means that, you know, everyone is really indeed keeping it secret. What's the, what's, why the secrecy? Like what, um, a lot of things we see in, as we continually produce this show and research our many different guests on many different topics is this whole idea of hiding our feelings as, as and I'm just saying, lead, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't just qualify all leaders as men, but I'd imagine, um, the, or is it all leaders that, that, that kind of like have this feeling I need to, or have this idea that I need to hide my feelings and show no weakness, or is it typically uh, more men or, or, or just it's um, everywhere uh, across the executive leadership branch? It seems to be more prone about, among men indeed. And, and, and I have a, a few expressions in my book when I describe this. And one of them is, uh, I call it this, uh, a smiling depression where people p- perhaps are hiding behind that smile. We live in a society where we put up the best pictures on social media. We put up the awards, the diplomas, all the great achievements on LinkedIn. So that's one part of the story. Which mm-hmm. is, that's a story that we want everyone to see because we're so scared and have so much anxiety to lose perhaps the job we have, the salary it comes with, the benefits, the bonuses and so on, that we do everything to protect that because we're so fearful of losing it. So that's what everyone will see on the outside. But what's in the inside, all the fears and anxiety, we hold it onto ourselves as firmly as we can and we don't want anyone to find out about this because imagine if they do, then I won't be up for the next promotion. I won't get the next right. job. And when it, when my HR uh, team will decide who will get the new job or new assignment, then perhaps I won't get it. So that's sort of the fear that everyone have. And, and I also call this uh, an anxious overachiever, which is a very common term for senior executives. And if I'm just reflecting back on myself. Listen to the full episode on our podcast, Men Talking Mindfulness, or watch it here on YouTube. Thanks for checking us out. MentalkingMindfulness.com. Peace.